Well, we technically managed to get our first win. Unfortunately, it wasn't in the league. And Dublin, unfortunately, Fulham have got their first win as well. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 25 of my Bristol Rovers FM20 playthrough. My name is James, and on today's episode, we have two matches in the Premier League. Away against Chelsea, and then a massive home game against fellow relegation candidates, Fulham. Now, since you're last with me, we only played the one match. We had a two all, uh, a one all draw, sorry, against Brighton in the Carabao Cup. We managed to win on penalties uh, with Trafford, our youngster who came on for his debut, uh, saving a penalty to put us through to the third round of the Carabao Cup, where we will in fact face our landlords, Southampton. Uh, in a very weird match where we are playing away and yet we are playing at home. Other than that, not much more to get you up to speed with. Um, these episodes are coming thick and fast at the moment. And so uh, so not uh, not much chance in between for stuff to happen. So we'll crack on with the first and more difficult of the two matches against Chelsea. As I did mention, Fulham have actually got their first win of the season. And they won against Watford, who comfortably hammered us at the start of the season. That does leave us being the last team in the league to uh, to actually get a win this season. Um, however, we are obviously a game in hand playing on the Sunday, but it is unlikely that our first win of the season is going to come in this match as Chelsea are in fact second in the table. But the team for today's match is going to be Jacola in goal, a bat for Richie, Long, Kilgore and Korea, uh, Clark, Rolls and Sammy in midfield, Barrett, Ar uh, Arzani and Clark Harris up front. As you may have noticed, I'm going for a attacking mentality in this match. I've dabbled a little bit with the defensive. I don't. I'm not massively comfortable with it. I would rather us go down swinging than go down trying to play defensively. And we do have a highlight here with the goal kick for to Rolls to Arzani, who's out wide, looking to take on the fullback. Chips it back in to the centre to Sammy to Clark to Rolls to Sammy. Forward looking for Barrett, but Barrett loses the ball and it goes to back to goes to Chelsea. And Chelsea now look to bring something forward with James to Kante with Mount. You can definitely see an increase in speed in the passing between the players when the uh, uh, when it's uh, when it's when it's when we're playing against the, the higher level Premier League sides. But Chelsea are slowly bringing the ball forward. But we have won the ball back with Richie, but only as far as Rudiger who who collects the ball and Chelsea look to bring it forward again. Out wide to Theo. Theo's in massive space here. He's able to bring the ball forward right up until the byline. Ball into the centre to Haaland. Haaland puts it in. Jacola has no chance for how close it is. And Chelsea gets the first of the day. Right, we have a goal kick with Jacola to Kilgore to Long. Big ball forward to Clark Harris. Now to Barrett, looking to bring it forward. Rolls and Barrett ping ponging ping -pong it between themselves. We still managed to keep the ball though to Clark. To Sammy, looking for Barrett again, but the but James manages to intercept. Ball forward for Haaland again. Erlen Haaland looking to create another opportunity. Ball into the centre, looking for Jaden Sancho. How are we even anywhere near this team with a team that includes Erlen Haaland and Jaden Sancho? But Theo with the ball, two across to, to Hozek, is that right? Hozek, who puts it in at the back post. And that is 2-0. Less than 30 minutes on the clock. But we do have a highlight with Thierry out wide. Clark Harris. Back to Thierry. Ball in the centre. Looking for Barrett. But uh, Barrett can't get anywhere near it. But he does manage to win the ball back in. The, the clearance doesn't go very far. To Richie, To Rolls. To Clark. To Sammy. To Arzani. Can we get something before half time? Thierry with the ball. Can he put back in the centre? To Arzani. He, he tries to take a shot but it's blocked. Arz um, Thierry tries to take another shot but it is missed. And then Sancho's, Sancho brings the ball forward. He is in masses of space, running forward into the penalty area, misses the t avoids the tackle, and the ball just goes wide. Mount with the corner into the centre. We do manage to clear it, though, but Hozek is quickest. Mount again into the centre, looking for Haaland. We do manage to clear it, though, and we manage to avoid yet another goal. But they're coming thick and fast now. Mount with a free kick into the centre. Kilgore manages to clear it to, to clear it to Sammy, to Clark. Pushing it forward, looking for Clark Harris. Can we build something from here? Even if we can get a goal back, it gives us an opportunity going into the second half. Sammy to Rolls. To Sammy again. To Clark. To Arzani. Putting string some nice passes together. But Thierry and Arzani are getting too close, I think, there. It tries to look into the Clark Harris, but Clark Harris is, is easily being marked, and we lose the ball. And Klozek brings the ball forward again. Looking to try and put a cross into the centre. To Mount. To Kante, 
to Sancho, to Kante, just waiting for the inevitable to happen. Mount out wide to Theo. He's going to put a cross into the centre, and he does. Haaland's there, but puts the ball over the top. We have not had a single shot so far in this game. And Mount with another corner into the centre to Rudiger, to Theo, to Felix. Felix puts it in for Chelsea's third. Not even half time yet, and Chelsea are 3 0 up. I mean, they are top of the table, and I would expect, expect to get absolutely hammered against this lot, but we definitely played a lot better against, uh, against Arsenal. Uh, maybe may, uh, maybe uh, a little bit of a switch around at half time is in the works to at least try and get a shot uh, uh, in this match. And that is half time. May as well be full time, but that is Chelsea 3, Bristol Rovers 0. Right, let's switch things around a little bit. Let's switch to a fluid counter-attack. Let's play cautious. Let's try something a little bit different. They're not as familiar with this one, but hopefully this might be able to settle the ship a little bit. With Holmes Dennis coming on as well for Richie, uh, who's had a terrible game. And it says, absolutely terrible, extremely poor. I know it's against Chelsea, but it doesn't mean we should just roll over and let them win. Um, at the very least, we should get a, a, a shot, at least a shot on target in this second half. But 10 minutes in the second half and not much more has changed. Chelsea could shut up shop in this game and it wouldn't make a massive difference. But uh, they do have a, a, a free kick here with Polzik, who look, brings the ball into the penalty area. And that is a penalty again, yet again, another pr Premier League match, another penalty and this is this is to make it Chelsea four, Bristol Rovers nil. And I'm not really sure what to say anymore. I'm not sure how uh, how easy it's going to be to continue to commentate on these matches if these are going to be the games that are how the games are going to play out. Right, let's try something again, a little bit different. Let's go very attacking. Why not? Let's just attack them. Or maybe switch pack to Gagan Press again. Let's bring Arzani in from that right hand side. And let's try and pack this centre area here. Do we take any well, I mean I mean I could probably just throw a hat over somebody and uh, and pick pick somebody to take off in this match. I think we'll bring off Zane Walker bring on Zane Walker for Barrett. He's had the worst he's got the worst score on the field. And let's bring on Nkita for Clark Harris. Push him forward and hope we get something out of that. Chelsea have a corner into the centre to Haaland. That's five. Own goal just to add insult to injury. I'm not sure how that was an own goal. I thought that came off Haaland in all, uh, all honesty. It was bounced off of Jacola, off, uh, off Clark and into the back of the net. But here we straight after the uh, straight after the goal we have a kick off. I've also just noticed the awful rain as well, which is probably not helping with the situation. But Walker has won the ball back. Come on, Walker! Every single time he has played to Inkita, we've had a shot. We have had a shot in this game. I'll take that. We're five 0 down, but I'll take the fact we have had a shot in this game. We've actually managed something in this game. Let's demand some more. Don't think it's going to make any difference. They all feel pressured now. This game is pretty much over anyway. Uh, we, but we do have a highlight here. Thierry with the ball to Sammy, to Anzani. Thierry's on the overlap, but they look to play it into the centre. To Clark, but has to play it back to Kilgore. And big ball forward, looking for Inkita, but Arzani manages to collect the loose ball. To Inkita, can he score? He puts it straight at Kepa, who puts it out. We do, though, have a corner. I, we have had five corners. In, how have we had five corners in this match? And Inkita manages to score. Right. I think I know what we're going to be playing in the next match. We have changed it around a little bit. Clark Harris is obviously not in the right frame of mind to be playing. So Inkita is going to be starting in the next match. So is Zane Walker. Both those players came on and we managed to score. I can't believe I'm sounding so positive being the fact that we just got absolutely hammered away against Chelsea. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased because regardless of how that last couple of minutes played out, we did we did still just roll over in that first half. But that, I think, says a lot how we're going to play things in the next match. And Keita scoring as he comes on. Yet another loss. We're still propping up the bottom of the table, but now we play Fulham, who are above us. 
And unless we win, win by 3-0, obviously, we're not going to go anywhere. But if we can get a win in the next match, it's a positive start. Do you know what? We may be bottom of the league. We may not have won a game this season. We may have commercial income, which would suit League One, which is where we were two years ago. We bet we don't even crack a million pounds, uh, which is one fourteenth of what Norwich is producing in the uh, just above us, and not even the same stratosphere as Man United, who are on a different planet um, when it comes to to income. However, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh best, no, seventh best producer of English players in the top leagues. I think all that means is we have a very English side. But do you know what? I will take small wins as and when they come. Here we are for the second match of today's episode. Uh, after the international break, the players have had a fair bit of a rest. Um, but hopefully they've been training hard, um, ready for this match, which for us, even this early in the season, I feel is is a much must win. But at this point, I'll take a draw. Even just to get a point on the board is something that I think we uh, we we could be proud of at this uh, at this moment. Transfer window also closed uh, between the two matches. Uh, we only had one other player come in, uh, Ryan Keenan, who is a 17 year old centre back who came in for a million pounds from Watford. Um, saw him come up on the scout reports. Um, I we we have been limited. We, we're limited now in terms of youngster centre backs. Uh, I felt that we needed a little bit more. We needed um, a couple more youngsters, maybe to bolster the development squad. No others, unfortunately, came up on the scout reports. But this guy did. I felt he was good enough. He did actually have a five star rating when we scouted him. However, that's now dropped to a four star, which is a little bit disappointing. We spent money on him, but he's only on eighteen hundred pounds a week. And he's got a three-year contract, so we'll be able to review that in a couple of years' time when his contract is due for renewal. And this is the team for today's match. Now, I know we can't really be blamed for the goals against Chelsea, but I thought I'd give Trafford a bit of a go. He played really well against Brighton in the Carabao Cup. So Trafford starts in goal. Holmes, Dennis, Long, Kilgore and Correa make up the back four. Clark and some, uh, uh, Sammy in central midfield. Walker... Arzani and Lumeka are the attacking three and then Nkita comes in for uh, Clark Harris up front. I've lost a little bit of patience with Clark Harris. Um, he did have that one game in the middle where he got a positive rating but that was only really from getting an assist. Apart from that he's not really been firing at all and Rolls drops down to the bench as well. Um, now Clark is, is healthy. He is our captain. He is also one of the more experienced players at the club. So I fe I'm feeling, I felt that experience might help steady the ship a little bit more, uh, even, over, uh, so, uh, even over ability. We are again going into this with an attacking mentality. Uh, we are at home. We are playing against a team who, in all honesty, we should at least be competitive against if we have any chance of staying up this season at all. So I think coming out with an attacking mentality, try and catch them off guard from the outset. I think tell them it's time to put an end to our bad run of form. And let's see what we can do. 12 minutes on the clock. We have a throw in with uh, Carrera outside who gets the ball back. Passes it through. Passes it to Sammy. Sammy is being pressured though but manages to find Clark. Clark going back to Kilgore. We're going backwards and backwards and backwards. But Clark managed to bring it forward again to Sammy. To Kilgore. We are keeping possession but Fulham are pressing us and it is making us go all the way back to our goalkeeper. We look to bring it forward again. Sammy Clark. Arzani loses the ball so easily there. Fulham look to bring the ball forward. Now if this carries on the theme it has been the last couple of matches is teams in the Premier League will punish us for mistakes like that. Being the fact that Arzani is one of, shows to be one of the best players at the club it is disappointing that he makes that mistake. Long makes another mistake there. We have handed Mitrovic that first goal of the, of the game. Not that they needed any encouragement in the first place, but Long, we, I don't know what he was expecting with that pass there. Whether he was expecting Trafford to come out for him, to come out to collect the ball, but the, the pass was not strong enough. Mitrovic runs in and puts Fulham 1-0 up. Right, we have a highlight here with Lumeka with the ball. However, we were, so, we were so, such an attacking position, it's likely we were going to lose the ball. And Fulham brings the ball forward, looking for another opportunity. Drama out wide, takes it past uh, uh, Holmes Dennis with ease. Ball into the centre to Oma, and that is it. It is 2 0 down. 25 minutes on the clock, 
And this is going to be a very, very long season. And I have absolutely no idea what to do in it anymore. All right, Fulham have another throw in. With outside with drama. Looking to bring the ball forward again, but we... We are pressing them quite well. And then Keita manages to win the loose ball here. Takes it into the penalty area. If he can score here, say it makes it a little bit easier on us going into the second half. But he does manage to get a shot on target and it goes out for a corner. Ozani with the corner into the centre but couldn't get it past the first man. Lumeka though does go out to collect the ball. See if we can try and recycle the play again to Holmes Dennis. And that is the end of the highlight. Fulham with the corner. Rodriguez into the centre. Mitrovic there with a free header, but Lucky Trafford manages to collect the ball. All right, coming up to half time, there we're going to end up making. I think we're going to end up making all substitutions at half time because Long is on a six point one. He is having an awful game. I'll also bring on Matt Ritchie for one reason uh, and one reason alone is he is a good set piece taker. So bring him on. Going to get aggressive. Show me something in the second half. Show me anything in the second half. Is, is what I would say. We have been utterly poor in this entire episode. And yet again, another team we have just rolled over against and and allowed them to... And again, uh, Cavaliero is coming forward there um, and just not being pressured at all. We're supposed to be playing a Gagan press. We're supposed to be pressure pressing them and we're not even putting any pressure on them at all. Trafford's pretty much given up and just hyped it forward rather than actually passing it to our centre-backs there. And Cav Cavaliero is coming forward again. Trafford makes a save, collects the ball on the second time. But yet again, coming forward with absolutely no pressure. And uh, Trafford this time does pass out to Lockyer. And we look to try and bring the ball forward. Clark, ball for big ball forward. Not going to get anywhere near Nkita. Fulham bring it in. Loader into into the penalty area. Poor pass though. We uh, with uh, Walker does manage to collect the ball. We do bring it forward. And Keita manages to collect the ball. Good first touch. Looking to bring it forward into the penalty area. But he is he is getting pressure. But he manages to win the ball back. Slots it past the goalkeeper. There we go. We have a goal back. And Keita did that all himself. Walker did manage to did uh, did uh, did create create the ball forward. But Nkita had a lot to do there. He had four or five players in front of him. Manages to evade the tackle, get into the penalty area, and then slots it into the bottom right. And hopefully that is the tide turning. Let's go to an attacking and tell him to get creative. Let's try and get some inspiration into these guys. We've been been very neg we've been, we've played very negatively in this game, and I think uh, hopefully that goal. And as soon as I start trying to be positive. Our defenders screw up and we hand them another goal. If we can't remove errors like this from our game, we're gonna we're gonna get we're not even gonna score a point this season. Absolutely rubbish. And that could have that could have been Mitrovic's hat trick there, because he was again free in the penalty area, no one marking him at all. all right, going to make that final substitution now because we need we just need something in this game. Let's bring on Rolls. At the very least, his fresh legs. I know it's taking the captain off, but. I think even even uh, even he's played poorly in this game. Arzani has won the ball though, and Keita has come forward into the penalty area. Can he make it two for himself today? And he can't. Does put it wide. We do have another highlight, back-to-back -back highlights. Thierry with the ball to Arzani. Thierry into the centre again, looking for. Not sure who that was in the centre, but the ball was cleared by Fulham, and uh, Loder looks to bring it forward, passing forward. I think he's. I think he is done. I think he's pulled something there. But uh, Fulham continue to bring the ball forward with Umana not being tracked again. It's Fulham 4, Bristol Rovers 1. And I think from the next match I'm going to have to be starting from scratch again because 
we're going to have to come out and play so defensively. If we're if we get caught on the break like this every single time we attack, and if we're not defending well enough, if, the, if these guys in the centre, Kilgore, Lockyer, Long, if they're not good enough to be defending against players like this, then we just need to shut up shop every single game and hope that we can get a nil nil. And and play it. And, and and play and play it as defensively as that. Walker with the ball forward again, looking for Enkita, but unfortunately Enkita's being marked. It was a bit of a long shot. Uh, Fulham uh, back in possession again. Rodak with a big ball forward into the midfield. Umana, who sc scored a couple of the goals, uh, has the ball there. Musa looking to bring the ball in, not being pressured again. Takes a pot shot, but luckily it goes wide. Fulham have had 31 shots in this game. We just we just don't we just don't have an answer. But the ball's in the centre, and Keita with a shot out of no with an opportunity out of nowhere there. The Fulham keeper man uh, being forced to make a save. Richie with the corner into the centre, looking for Kilgore, but Kilgore's head flies well over the bar. And we have another free kick here. Thierry with the ball. Big ball forward. Looking for Nkita again. Do you know what? Maybe this is how we have to play it in future. Nkita has had more opportunities with big balls for, uh, lumps forward than he, and then we have trying to play it properly. So maybe that's what we do going forward is we maybe play route one. But Sammy with the ball here to Walker. Anzini looking trying to get on the end of it. But he mistimes his run and, it, and the Fulham keeper collects. Maybe that's how we play this. Maybe we play it very defensively. Route one. Hoofing the ball forward for Nkita. And hoping that he is able to uh, to to get the odd goal um, and play it like that and just and just park the bus for the rest of the time. Um, we have managed to get a free kick though with Rodriguez being offside, and that is likely to be the end of a game. A game where we have conceded is it nine goals? I think we've scored two, but it's been an atrocious, atrocious pair of games from us. I aggressively say far far from pleased. They don't even look like they want to be out there at this point, which, well, being the fact that they have said they've they've we've conceded so many goals, we are on minus twelve goal difference already. I know Chelsea are on a plus 12, 12, plus twelve goal difference, but could we possibly end up setting a record for minus goal difference and possibly lowest lowest points total in a Premier League season? Because if we carry on five losses from five games, I mean, look at the state of that. We could be the. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to know. Actually, let's have a look. Why not? Let's see if we can set our set a record. At least do something this season. Um, let's see. Fewest. Do we have fewest points in a se in a Premier League season? Fewest points. Ten, with Stoke. There we go. There's our target. If we carry on the way we're playing, that that record, which has stood since 1889, is going to be in jeopardy. Right, um, let's have a look. I don't think I'm going to play the Southampton game as much as I like the idea of us uh, playing away at our home ground. I'm going to jump forward a little bit more. I'm going to play half a dozen games, I think. Maybe come back for the for the Man City-Everton game. Um, maybe even liverpool Manu. Play some of the bigger sides. Um, at the very least, if we're going to lose, I'd rather see us lose against a, a big side on camera. Um, see if we can try and get some... Uh, I'm going to have a think around this area. See if we can try and get some settled tactics, a uh, settled formation, uh, a settled team if we can. Because uh, I think that's also what's not what's also not helping is we are... We were so consistent in the first two seasons with our team. And maybe it's my fault. Maybe I've wrecked the squad. Maybe I've fiddled with the tactics too much. Um but something definitely needs to, to change, I think, before we can start winning. Well, that definitely wasn't fun. But if you did enjoy that, please hit the hit the uh, like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of brand new FM20 videos from me. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>